it, you hear gunshots all the time. It's just when I heard it, you know, I'm checking on my people. Make sure the household is cool. After yet another violent night in the Circle City, community leaders today hope a chance to get more guns off the street will hopefully curb the crime in our city. Our Steve Jefferson has the numbers on crime in our city over the last month that includes last night's wave of violence. Steve? In the past 24 hours, we've had six people shot and three people injured in stabbings. Over the last month, 18 people died in 61 shootings, and we've had 15 stabbings. It's the violence police and community leaders are trying to stop. I know uh, her four shots. Jerry Adams lives in one of the Indy neighborhoods rocked by recent violence. Metro officers rushed to Villa Avenue on the southeast side where they found one man critically injured after someone fired several shots. I heard four shots and looked out the window and seen a car take off. In a different shooting Tuesday, police found a man shot at the Cloverleaf Apartments on Wilkins Street. Heartbroken about all the violence. It's heartbreaking, number one, uh, because um, these are young people. Local clergy, and like Pastor Wayne Moore, hopes their work with police on an upcoming gun buyback event will make a difference. Uh, hopefully it will um, bring some more guns off the street. We did almost $20,000 last year, almost two, 200 guns off of the street uh, and out of homes. And since he hears gunfire on the regular, Jerry also hopes for more peace. Like I said, the world's different. Staying 10 toes down. If you know someone that wants to help get guns off the street and stop the violence, make sure you tell them about the gun buyback program. Steve Jefferson, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Steve, thank you. Now the gun, guy, gun buyback during this Indy ceasefire weekend will, de, will be taking place December 7th from noon to 5 at Messiah Baptist Church. That location is on East 38th Street. Local clergy who are working really closely with Metro Police, they will be offering cash if you turn in your weapons. No questions asked.